Hey guys, it's Bruin from Hydrobead, and in this video I want to show you how easy it is to coat something with our spray. Now, we've already done all the usual items, umbrella, cardboard, foam board, and shoes, but I want to do something a little more interesting this time. A kid's porta potty. So many of us know that when a kid needs to go, they really need to go. That's why these little guys were invented. So you could have a kid do their business, get rid of their business, and then put it back in the trunk of the car or in your closet or wherever else. But if you've had experience with one of these recently, you'll know all too well that there's always a little bit left over. And you could pour it out and kind of try to shake it off, but there's always some liquid residue and that's never enjoyable to deal with. So what exactly do you do? Well, you can make the whole thing super hydrophobic, so the liquid just flies off, leaving nothing behind. And I'll show you exactly how to do that using HydroBeat. Step one, clean the surface of whatever it is you're about to spray. You want the surface dry and free of any dust, dirt, or debris. The coating works best when it's sprayed directly onto a clean surface. Use a paper towel, napkin, or anything else that you can wipe down your surface with while leaving it free of any chemicals or moisture on top. Step 2. Shake well. The contents of the can may have settled or otherwise separated from solution while the bottle sat around. Shake vigorously for 1-2 to two minutes to make sure the contents are properly mixed again and ready for optimal super hydrophobic coating. Step 3. Position the can 8-12 to 12 inches away from the surface and spray. Motion up and down and side to side for optimal coverage, but make sure not to overdo a single coat or the liquid may pool up. Step 4. Let dry. HydroB takes very little time to dry, but we recommend leaving it alone for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the coating is dry to the touch. Try adding more layers once a previous layer is dry. Note that HydroB does dry to a slight white haze. And we're good to go. You might notice uh, a tiny bit of white hazing in some parts of the material because of the HydroB pooling up a little bit on the sides, but it's nothing to worry about. If anything, it's more effective in those areas. Let's see what happens with some of our practice waste. You can see the, the little water beads right off the bat. And if we kind of just take it and pour it out. You'll notice there's pretty much nothing left. It's dry. There's a few uh Hydrobead marks. It's pretty great. 